The Book of Fires by Jane Borrowdale. This is a historical novel, a completely captivating book about a woman who, I don't want to give too much away, she goes on the run and she ends up making fireworks. Um, it's set in the 18th century, it's incredibly vivid and um, compelling. She's a wonderful character and you're pretty much inside her head the whole time. And She's one of these writers who describes things like childbirth and makes it new. So there are no cliches in the book. Um, it's really wonderful, really wonderful. Uh, the Boy Next Door by Irene Sabatini is an amazing novel. Uh, it's wonderfully written, uh, the characters have depth and flair and there's a wonderful triumphant one-off of a character called Ian who is so original in terms of fiction. I haven't, I've never read a character like him before and it's about, you know, it's the sort of social backdrop of post-independent Zimbabwe but it's also about relationships, uh, it's also very unpredictable. The Fire is a Small Still Voice uh, by Evie Wilde is an extraordinary book for a young woman to have written because it manages to convey not one but two men incredibly cleverly. It also captures the, the um, east coast of Australia fantastically well. Uh, she's extremely good on writing about place. She's very good at writing about the sort of effect from one generation to the next of, of trauma. And she's very good at writing about war for someone who presumably has never experienced this. This was one of the things which really stood out as a, as a, a feat of imagination.